Hey guys, uh, thanks for joining in. Uh, we have Esme or Esmeralda and Justin here. Hopefully more people show up. Um, I'm gonna point my screen over here to my board. I don't know if you can read it. Let me move my laptop. But for those people who arrive early or are like right on time, oh, Geo. Hey, Geo. Those people are gonna get plus five dojo points. So. If you are here, I'm going to write your name right now. I'm going to put Esme for Esmeralda. I have Gio and Justin. Okay, it's a really easy way to get dojo points and to get to those dojo parties because special points are worth five. All right, it's pretty good for you if you're here on time. So tell your friends um, whenever you have class with Gates or whatever, let them know that they can join us and have fun. All right, I need to do some house cleaning with you guys. Um, I haven't really done a good job on this, and so for people who haven't met these expectations, that's on me, I'm not upset, um, but I just realized I have not talked about this. So if you're at home watching, this goes for you. If you're here with us, it goes for you. So I'm gonna start off with saying, if you wouldn't do it, in a classroom at school, don't do it in a Zoom meeting. All right, so in music class, are you allowed to stand up and walk around the room and do whatever you want? No. Are you allowed to just get your snacks out and eat in front of us? No. Are you allowed to just talk and converse with family and friends? No. Okay, so um, even wearing PJs, y'all, you know, sometimes we wear PJs, I get it. Or, <laughs> um, but we want to be professional. As much as I want to come to work on PJ, like wear my PJs, I can't. I got to stay professional. And we want to make sure that um, we, the teachers, are preparing you to become adults. Um, we don't know what the future holds in store for us, but we want to make sure that we're practicing professionalism even at school. So if you can, um, which you can, <laughs> try to dress up. Just that little extra effort, you know, changing the shirt, changing the pants. Um, come in your normal school clothes or in your normal household clothes, but no PJs, okay? We can do that one thing, no PJs, all right? I would appreciate that, um, and it's going to help you later on in life, too. Um, I'm going to talk about my three-strike policy. I did not have that until today, but in school, um, if you get a strike, the first one, I give you a verbal warning. So, Maybe you are eating in class when you shouldn't be, or you're, you keep talking and interrupting as I'm teaching, um, or I mute your mic and you keep unmuting it and stuff like that, okay? Um, I'll give you a strike, I'll give you a verbal warning, I'll let you know what you're not doing right. You know, we can fix it, it's fine. The second time, if I have to get on to you for the same cause or a different cause, um, maybe I'm telling you to follow instructions and you're over here just like, <laughs> I don't know, you're like looking at the wall, maybe there's a fly in the room. Okay, I get that, I get distracted too, but try to re-engage. If I catch you though, and this is the second time I've had to get on you, I'm taking away dojo points. Third time, you're out. So like at school, we would like, I would give you a form, your parents would need to sign it, we can't do that. I'm just gonna kick you out of class. <laughs> and that's not good. Yeah, I can, Dude, I could just kick you out by pushing one button. It's so easy. Um, do I want to do that? No, of course not. Okay, but I have to have some consequence for our actions. I doubt that any of us will ever get to strike three because you're all great kids. Okay, hope it never comes to that point. Um, but I have expectations and you guys have rules and we need to make sure we're being professional. All right, so that's my house cleaning stuff. Gio, I see a hand. You can unmute yourself. You have a question you would like to ask us? Yeah. Um, people that join the special. Yes. Thank you, Gio. All right. So, do you guys have your papers from yesterday? Now, Esmeralda did this lesson last week. Um, as long as you're staying engaged and stuff verbally, I'll give you points. Okay, Esme. All right, Gio has his. Justin, do you have your paper from yesterday? So, if this is your first time watching a video, um, or you didn't watch yesterday's video, I encourage you to watch yesterday's video because we made this little table chart. Um, we have eight squares, 
labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in our first square, we have the instrument, the cello. We watched this boy yesterday named Elijah play the cello. I want you to airplay the cello for me, okay? So I want you to take your left hand and hold it up. We're gonna airplay the cello. Your right hand, you're gonna pretend like you're holding a bow. If you have a pencil or a pen or marker around you, go ahead and hold that. Let me let a friend in real quick. Okay, and you're going to pretend that you are playing the strings. Okay, we're playing the cello. Now, if you wanna challenge yourself, you can move your left hand up and down while your right hand goes left and right. Very good. Nice work. All right, so when I say airplay the cello, that's what I want. Now we have the harp. Go ahead, Gio, Justin, um, if you have your, if you have your paper, show me what your harp looks like. You drew a picture of it yesterday. Show us your harp. Very good. So the harp is also a part of the string family. We have instruments and every instrument that we have is a part of a family, okay? There's like brass family, there's percussion family, there's woodwind family, there's string family. The harp and the cello are part of the string family because they have strings. All right. Last thing uh, I want to mention, please keep your uh, cameras on. I forgot that was part of my rule. So like, I don't know, maybe you need to use the restroom or something's going on. Like, I don't know, some people are going to doctor's appointments and stuff like that. And I'm glad people are participating. But let me know ahead of time why, you're, why your video is off. Um, because I don't want to make the assumption that you're sleeping. If you're sleeping, I'm going to probably give you a verbal warning or, or kick you up. So can everybody show me their faces right now with your video? If you're in a safe place, show me your faces. And if you can't show me your face, you can even chat uh, in the chat box and let me know why you aren't able to be here. Justin, can you turn your camera on for me? Esme, can you turn your camera on for me? Thanks, Justin. Okay. I know some of us feel weird uh, having our faces on screen but I, I thank you for being brave. The only people who are watching this are your classmates because I, I only send them the link, okay? So there's no strangers watching us. Awesome, thank you. Um, so yeah, we have the harp and the cello and they're both part of the string family. We need to spell the word harp right here beneath our instrument. So I'm gonna hold up this and right beneath your instrument, I want you to spell harp, H A. R P. I'm going to do the same thing on my paper. This is number two, instrument number two, H A R P. Cool. I'm going to give you five seconds to write it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to airplay the harp. The air. This is how we're gonna airplay the harp. Do you remember that beautiful lady yesterday? I showed you this video, this lady playing, um, she was playing an Ed Sheeran song called Perfect. Yeah, and she would pluck the strings with her fingers. She would also flick the strings with her fingers. So you need to know how to play these instruments for whenever we play charades. Gio, give me a number uh, between three and eight. Give me a random number between three and eight. Five. Five. All right. On square number five, I want you to write the word symbol right at the bottom of the square because you want to make sure you have room to draw your symbols. Right now, just look at the spelling and make sure you copy that to your paper. Symbol. C Y M B A L. My B kind of looks like a half note. <laughs> Half no gets two beats. All right, I'm gonna get give you five more seconds to spell symbol C Y M B A L. All right, I'm gonna share my screen with you. We are going to watch a video of this marching band, and there's gonna be people who are playing the cymbals. Watch how they make the crashing sound. The cymbal is a part of the percussion family. In order to be a part of the percussion family, you have to 
the instruments have to hit themselves to produce a sound, or you have to strike or hit the instrument for it to make a sound. I think I have another um, one of them. Here is a video. Can you all see this? Yes or no? Say yes or no. Can you all see this? And I'm going to... No. Okay. I am sharing my screen right now, and you should be able to hear the audio. symbols. I'm going to put my phone on a timer for 25 seconds. You have 25 seconds to draw a picture of the symbols. All right, so here's your picture. On my mark, you're going to start draw drawing. On your mark, get set, go. I need to get mine. Yeah, Remember, draw it's called set. number five? Yes, number five. You're drawing it's symbols. Yes. I couldn't see what the symbols looked like. You can't see it on your screen right now? No. Hold up. I I'm can't see them. Esmeralda, can you see the symbols on your screen right now? This is a technical issue because I'm sharing my screen. Can you see right now? You might have to see. Can you guys, did you get to see that video at all? No. Oh, you heard it, but you didn't get to see it. Well, that's, I'm sorry, guys. On my end, it was showing that I was sharing my screen. Um, but on your end, it wasn't, apparently. So, let me show you. I'm only going to play a few seconds of it. Can you see this right now? Can you see the guys? Yes. Dress? Okay. I'm going to show you what the symbols look like as they play. I'm sorry, guys. And come back to the screen here. So those are the symbols. Now I'm going to put the timer on for seven or 25 seconds. And I want you to draw a picture of the symbols. All right. So here oh, we have a friend joining us. Here's a picture of the symbols. On your mark, we're on number five. You should have the word symbol spelled out on number five. We're gonna draw a picture on your mark, get set, go. Woof. All right, time's a ticking. 
Time's a ticking. Oh, I gotta draw my little strap. That strap is where they hold the symbol to keep it from falling. Three, two, one. Beep, 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 beep. That's it. All right. Let me see your screens. Hi, good to see you. Okay, so we are making our pictures here. Oh, I love geo symbols. You can see both of them. He even has handles on each of them. Justin, can you show me your picture? Now, uh, Eve, you just, <laughs> Eve 2020, I see you there. Um, we are making a table. If you can, grab your paper and pencil and try to make this table numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because we're gonna draw these instruments and watch videos, and then we're gonna play a game of straights. Now, if you, need, if you don't know what this looks like, I have a reference in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can look at that as we're watching, okay? We just drew the symbol. We have a picture of the cello and harp. Um, try to draw the symbols if you, uh, can if not that's fine we'll get to it later all right uh justin give me a number uh three between three and eight but don't use the number five because we've already used it six six all right now eve um you also don't maybe don't even have to draw this whole thing um you can draw eight random squares on your paper, but make sure that you leave enough space in each square um, to draw a picture and write the name of the instrument in there. Okay, so just, uh, Justin chose the number six. We have the flute. So at the bottom of your square, Eve, you can draw a square on your paper and write number six in the corner. And at the bottom, you're gonna write the word flute. Good job. Hey, thanks for drawing that table. Go ahead and put in one of those squares number six and write the word flute. It's spelled F-L-U-T-E. Awesome. I'm gonna do that for my paper. And now I'm gonna show you a performance of this girl. She is playing the flute in her living room. There's a fireplace in the background. All right. The flute is a part of the woodwind family. And this is how we airplay the flute. You can use your pencil or pen, or you don't even have to have anything in your hands. You can just use your fingers. Yeah, you have your hands right next to your mouth, out to the side, and we're airplaying. Very good. Whenever we play uh, charades, that's gonna be helpful for you to remember. Let's watch this girl play the flute and share my screen. Can you all see my screen right now? Yes or no? You can unmute yourself. It's good for me to have yeah, you. I can see you. Thank you for the okay. verbal feedback. Sometimes technology doesn't work. Now we are going to draw the flute. I'm going to put my timer on for 25 seconds and I'm going to show you a picture of the flute. Get your pens, markers, sharpies ready. Here is the flute. On your mark, get set, draw. Okay, it's long. It's made out of metal. There's a lot of buttons. There's a little hole at the top of the flute where the girl puts her mouth right over 
Ooh, there's a lot of keys and buttons on this thing. Some of them are big buttons, some of them are small buttons. Looks like there's some rods. Okay, that's time. Go ahead and show me your screen. Show me your instrument that you drew. This is my flute. Nice work, Justin. He had all those keys, he even drew in some rods. Nice, Geo, I see the rod there, you had a button. I love how your lines are very defined. Uh, as me, Eve 2020, Eve hates 2020. I hate 2022, but there's some good things that have happened too. I love that. Eve, can I see your wonderful drawing? As me did do this activity, but if you're doing it again, you can show us your drawing. Nice work, Eve. All right. Eve, I want you to choose a number. Uh, you can pick three, four, seven, eight, or yeah, three, four, seven, or eight. Can you tell me one of those numbers? Seven. Seven. She chose the kazoo. So in square number seven, write kazoo. It's ka, K A, zoo, Z O O, kazoo. The kazoo isn't really an instrument that you see in a marching band or jazz band or an orchestra. But you see kazoo parties. And there's some people who actually professionally play the kazoos, uh, the kazoo. And I'm going to show you a video of that performance. So many of you have heard of the artist Michael Jackson. Billie Jean is not my. Do you know that song, Billie Jean? Or do you know a like, thriller? Dun 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, okay, so there's Smooth Criminal, there's Thriller. Um, I'm sure if you heard the music, you would recognize it. He, Michael Jackson is a very popular uh, songwriter and artist and performer and musician. All right, I'm gonna share my screen with you. We're gonna watch I play a kazoo. This guy's very taunted. Uh, let me pull him up. Awesome. So for time's sake, I'm going to stop there. Can you airplay the kazoo for me? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, he's humming into his little kazoo and he's holding the instrument. Now, kazoos are sometimes made out of metal, but most of the time when you find them in the store, they're made out of plastic. I'm going to show you the picture. We're going to move pretty fast. Here's the link to these, instru these other instruments. Uh, I don't want this. I want this. Okay, here's the kazoo. I'm starting my timer. I mark it set. Go! We're on number seven. Kazoo's a rectangular shape. There's a lot going on here. The very top of the kazoo is where the sound comes out, but you have to put your lips on the end of the kazoo and blow air into it. All right, that's time. Go ahead and show me your kazoo pictures. It's not working apparently. Nice job, Eve. Can you guys take it so you can hear me right now? My computer is telling me I can't, but Eve, can you hear me? Nice work, Eve. Good job, Justin. Thank you. Esme, do you like our drawings? They look good. Awesome. Cool. All right, we have to mention I'm going to instrument number four the fiddle. So, draw for number four, and we're going to write the word fiddle, F-I-D-L-E. We're going to do these songs today, and play for a race tomorrow. We'll start off with the race. Um, we have technical difficulties to present, so I apologize. That was something. Fiddle, F-I-D-D-L-E. Here Which is, number? this is number four. Thanks for asking, that was a good question. You guys are doing awesome. Also, um, appreciate that. I'm going to share my screen and show you a police officer who can play the fiddle. 
This guy is so good. So fiddle is the same instrument as a violin. It's just played in a different style. Okay, across the strings to produce a sound, okay? So you can even, if you want to make it real hard, you can go up and down, left and right, or you just keep the hand still and glide your bow, your imaginary bow. All right, let's draw this picture of the fiddle. Here we go. Let me share my screen with you. Cool, cool. Five seconds. Here is the fiddle. Same instrument as a violin. On your On mark, number? this is number four. Number four, fiddle. On your mark, get set, go. The fiddle kind of looks like a cello, but it's a lot smaller. There's no end pin on it. The fiddle is made out of wood, and it has strings on it. You take a bow, glide it across the strings, or just like the heart, you can pluck the strings in order to make a sound. Awesome, there's your time. I know there's a lot going on there. We're going through this real fast. Go ahead, show me your pictures of the film. You're fine. I can do a little bow with it, kind of like time. Nice work, you know. Joe has the strings. He has general strings. Good job. I see how she can spell the word there. I love the attention to details with the amount of tuning at the top. Nice work, Justin. Phil, I see that there. Nice work. Okay, good question. It is technical time, 12.31. Do we want to spend like two extra minutes watching these uh, videos and drawing pictures or do we just wait to market it? If you want to wait till tomorrow, give me a thumbs up. Okay. If you want to just go ahead and finish uh, watching these videos and drawing the pictures, you know, it's past time, give me a high five. I see one high five, two high five. All right, great. Go ahead and push it. We have two instruments that left. We have number three and number eight. Let's watch number eight, Casabell. So let's go number eight. We're going to solve over Casabell. Casabell is the question. It's made out of metal. And Casabell is just like a fancy word for Miss Casabell. Yes. They're riding a lot. We are riding a lot. This is good for us. Cascabel, number eight. The reason why I'm having you write the words is that you know how to spell them. <laughs> okay, it's very important to learn how to write. And it also brings to remember, you're more likely to remember what a cascabel is if you can spell C A S C A B E L L. All right, here is a video of a band, or they're like a, they call themselves a bell choir. And they're gonna hold the instruments like this. Can I have you airplay a bell? So these, are, the bells that they're playing are really huge. There's another way you can airplay the bell. You can do it in your hand, back and forth. All right, I see that picture of me. I'm sorry. Okay, here is the cast bell or the bell choir. Sorry, guys. Thank you for being patient with me. This is someone like you. the bells now if you want to watch the full video you can go on to youtube okay um you can even go on to our school logo santa Fe south hill special underneath zoom links you'll see like a playlist that says zoom links and you'll see all my links i put up there um 
some of you won't remember this, that's okay. But just know that you can find these videos on YouTube. The picture of the bell. This one I'm gonna give you like 10 seconds to draw because it's not that hard to draw. Uh, we are on number eight. Number eight. On your mark, get set, draw. Woo, gotta move fast. Time's flying, y'all. Time's a flying. Time. Hoo -hoo. All right, so show me your picture. Oh, that was big round. Nice work, yes, big bell. Good job, Jess. Ooh, I love the attention to detail, Eve. Good job. I'll show you how to air up the bell. Well, air up like this. You can flick your wrist. Or you can play it like this. Okay, if you have a little bell, you can play it like that. Either one will work. Last instrument, we have number three. My favorite instrument is a saxophone. Sax. Okay, there's different types of saxophones. Alto saxophone, third song, soprano. Um, but generally, we're back for sax. Sax is a part of one family. So it's related to the flute. It's related to the clarinet. Um, it's related to the flute. Very for me. Yeah. So sax, S A X, three words or three letters. And I'm going to show you this quick. Now, in this video, uh, um, a guy playing the saxophone. Yes. You're glitching for me. Oh, uh, my Wi Fi is not You're good lagging. here. You're lagging. Um, dang. Thanks for letting me know. Hopefully, it will catch up soon. I don't know what's going on with the Wi Fi at school. I'm sorry, guys. Um, if you're watching this and you can't see me. I'm going to show one more video and then we're going to call it good for class, all right? So there's a girl playing the violin or the fiddle and then there's a guy playing the saxophone. start off with that video and just watch it all because it makes me so happy to listen to it all right so now you're gonna have 25 seconds to draw the saxophone and then we're gonna call it good tomorrow we'll play charade because that's minutes over due to technology issues thank you for being patient all right i'm gonna show you the guy and i want you to try to draw his saxophone do your best to draw the saxophone okay i'm gonna give you some time look at it go ahead and start drawing oh i'm not even screen sharing <laughs> i'm old with the way Okay. All right, just watch this video and try to draw a saxophone on your own, all right? Is it the one on the left or the right? It's the one on the left. The girl, the little girl is playing the fiddle or the violin, and the guy with the white outfit is playing the sax. We'll stop it there. Go ahead, show him a picture. Your best drawing sacks on there. This one's a little tricky because he's moving around a lot. Nice, Geo. Love that. Yeah. That's some good art. <clears throat> Very good. I love how you got all the buttons. Wow. I don't even know how you got all that attention to detail in that short amount of time. That's really good. I just have my little S. <laughs> I play the saxophone, but I can't draw it that well. Justin, can I see your saxophone? <clears throat> All right. It's nice to have you all here today. Thank you for drawing these instruments and saying I'm being willing to stay in class. Um, because you guys are workers and you don't play them with technical issues, I'm giving everybody here five dojo points. One, if you show up early, um, it is on the side, you have points for being here early. And for those of you who are here, it's good to the end of the last you get five points. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, I'm not recording. And I'll see you tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Yes. Do we have homework? Oh, I cannot hear you. Can you repeat that? Do we have homework? No homework. Nope. But make sure you keep this paper for tomorrow because we're going to use it. All right. Keep your paper in a safe space. Um, we'll use it for the rest of the time.
All right, guys, I love you. Thank you for staying after. I'm going to let you go. Make sure you get some lunch. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.